Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton has been criticised, hasn't he? What for? Hypocrisy. People are always accusing people of hypocrisy, aren't they? I'm famous, remember? And I remember when I said that uh, the political institutions of the country did not correctly represent the interests of the people, but rather represented the interests of big business and all that sort of stuff. People went, you're a hypocrite! Straight away, that's the first thing. I don't know. I don't get it, really. But let's have a look at what he said. I'm a vegan, care about the environment. He's trying his best. But then people say, no, no, you're a racing car driver. Hmm, I see, so he works in that industry. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'll tell you, actually, this Lewis Hamilton situation points to a rather an important matter. Firstly, he's trying to communicate. Why wouldn't he communicate? He's entitled to communicate. The fact that he works in an industry that um, is some distance from being carbon neutral, although I think Lewis Hamilton says that that's an intention of Mercedes, the team he races for, it really just highlights the kind of impotence that we all share operating within systems and cultures that in a sense yield continually to the invisible power of commerce. None of us can make a significant difference as individuals other than the glorification of the individual, for example, by becoming a great racing driver or an impressive orator or politician or ice skater or whatever it is. None of us can change, say like I stop using plastic bottles or I go carbon neutral and don't use plastic bags or don't go on flights or whatever. What difference does that make as compared? And you might say, well, no, you've got to make a start, you've got to make a start. And yes, of course, that's a great sentiment and something that we should certainly consider, but it will be better considered in an environment that has meaningful responsibility and a meaningful intention to change and that can only happen at the level of I, I think global regulation i.e it's illegal now to use single-use plastic or plastic bottles or fuels that are detrimental to the planet and of course the permutations the uh, the consequences of legislation and regulation that meaningfully changed the world would be huge because if you affect the interests of the powerful the consequences are always huge and it's difficult to make abrupt change in the world it's difficult to make an abrupt change from you know a profligate consumer society to a mindful spiritually oriented communities that's not like i mean I think like that famous quote, was it Mark Fisher? I don't remember. It's easier to envisage the end of the world than the end of capitalism. Meaning, you know, we can all see Armageddon, we can all see the apocalypse, but we can't see sort of Lewis Hamilton's carbon ne neutral vegan wonderland. Because it's very difficult to envisage that when our current systems seem so immobile in intransigent and uh, you know kind of permanent I'm gonna take this off don't let it bother you one two three oh a little bit of a lift so I don't you know Lewis Hamilton's doing his best he's all right I met him before a couple of times and uh, he's a, a nice bloke who cares about like whether or not he's a racing driver I mean really what people when people are accused of hypocrisy it's a way of trying to exclude them from a conversation I, in, in my opinion there are difficulties with a, you know, if, if the price of entry to the public debate is personal perfection, then we're fucked. But if the price is simply a shared aspiration to improve the world, to create a better collective, to create ideals for us to move towards, knowing that we can't immediately realising them, being forgiving towards one another when we inevitably slip and encouraging and heading after these new virtues and new ideals. Surely that's what we should be doing instead of condemning individuals, making individuals culpable for social and cultural problems. We need new systems, new ideals. If you're interested in joining a movement that's actually interested, send old Russ an email, help at russellbrand.com. I'm really here for you, to help you to try to organise new systems, 
new ideas, new ways of communicating, particularly those of you that feel disillusioned with the way things are. Lewis Hamilton trying his best, I think is a good thing. Let's just make sure I've not left any details out. He wants to be carbon neutral, he's doing his best, he's asked people to go vegan. What's wrong with any of this? Mercedes car road car divisions on the receiving end of Hamilton's activism, he's pushing them for more non-leather interiors. I mean, it will bet, I mean, you know, gosh, there's significant change required. We all know that, don't we? We can't ignore the necessity for serious change. I mean, do you really even need Formula One racing at all? I mean, it's like, you know, do we need that? Don't you think that sometimes, you know, with big movies, you know, or anything? Do you need that? Do we really need this? Could we, can you envisage a different world that's not built on comfort, objectification and consumerism where we accept, oh, right, so I'm not going to have as much new stuff, but I might be meaningfully connected. I think it is possible. I think it is necessary. I think it is inevitable. I have seen it, but it may be difficult to realise. Hello, I'm doing these new videos more frequently now. Please hit the notification button at the end of this video because then you'll get a, like a little bell when the, I post a new video and I'd like you to get a little bell when I post a video. Then I can, I don't know, be buzzing away in your pocket. Sounds like I'd be like a little pocket mosquito. Anyway, subscribe, click the bell because I want more people to watch the YouTube videos. You specifically.